Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Hi everyone, Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch. Before we talk about our local weather, we are going to be timing out some rain, especially during the day on Wednesday. I wanted to get you caught up on the tropics. A lot going on as I'm recording this. This is tropical storm Idalia about to move into the Gulf of Mexico and strengthen into a category one hurricane. And the National Hurricane Center has this storm strengthening into a major hurricane. That's anything category three or higher heading into Wednesday morning around the Big Bend area of Florida, so north of Tampa. But I would say anyone from Tampa all the way through the panhandle needs to watch this storm closely. And remember, this is just where the center of the storm ends up tracking, but impacts will be felt well from the center of the storm. We're talking about storm surge. We're talking about very heavy rainfall, which could cause flooding. And of course, we're also talking about the potential for damaging winds, which are always the worst on the east side of where the storm makes landfall. After it makes landfall, it will quickly weaken. It's getting taken away from its source of moisture and energy, which is the warm water in the Gulf. After that, the storm weakens and it ejects back out into the Atlantic. We are not expecting any direct impacts from Idalia here in New England. We've also got another storm to tell you about Franklin. Also, no direct impacts from that storm either, but I'll show you what could happen in parts of southern New England in a moment. I did want to show you the rainfall forecast here for areas in the south East because far from category three Idalia, even after the storm weakens, there is still going to be some very heavy and flooding rainfall for the Carolinas as well. This is Franklin winds of 145 miles per hour. This is a textbook powerhouse major hurricane. Luckily, it looks like the worst impacts are going to stay away from Bermuda, although tropical storm force conditions are possible there. After that, the storm passes between Bermuda and the United States, and with some luck, it ends up missing the Canadian Maritimes as well. But as I mentioned before, one thing that will impact southern New England is some rough surf. Not for us. We're talking about for Atlantic facing beaches. So for Cape Cod, for areas south of Long Island, for Nantucket, there could be six to nine foot waves. That's what the National Weather Service is forecasting in the worst areas that'll be properly positioned later on Wednesday as well as Thursday morning too. But I think that rip currents are gonna start to get underway as early as tomorrow. So we'll be watching that closely for our friends on the beaches nearby. Okay, back here locally. Low temperatures tonight in the low to mid 60s, cloudy sky chance for an isolated shower north and west of Hartford, but most of the state stays dry. Tomorrow, it's a mostly cloudy day. There is a chance for an isolated shower, but most of the state doesn't see one. We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 80 or uh, mid to upper 70s, near 80 for Windsor Locks. Taking a look at the future satellite and radar, you'll see most of the rain ends up staying to the south of us during the day tomorrow. But heading into Wednesday morning and Wednesday early afternoon, when it rains, it pours lots of moisture to kind of tap into there. So it is a wet and potentially stormy start to the day. Heading through the afternoon, we might be able to dry out somewhat. And then the humidity will plummet back behind that system, paving the way for some really beautiful weather Thursday, Friday into the upcoming weekend. Here's what that looks like on your Fox 61 seven day forecast. Highs in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees heading into your Wednesday. And then heading into Thursday and Friday, we see lots of sunshine, low humidity, gorgeous conditions, and the early outlook on Labor Day weekend is a 10. It looks beautiful all three days with sunshine and rising temperatures. Here's a look at your shoreline seven day forecast. Again, your eye just goes right to the weekend, doesn't it? Maybe it's the icon, maybe it's the 80s, maybe it's just the Saturday, Sunday, but we love what we're seeing heading into this weekend. We'll keep an eye on it just in case anything changes.